Bootstrap uh, CSS uh, library, which can be downloaded from the internet or can be external, externally a link from the internet. So let's begin. This time I'm using Visual, Visual uh, Studio Editor, which is um, the best one, I think, for the beginners or for the uh, web developers already. So let's go into the uh, Google browser and look for the booster app. I have to say that the booster app is a CSS and GAC library and every time is changing and it's getting uh, the better one. So this time, this one is the latest one, version 4.5, and get started. And uh, because uh, uh, the latest Bootstrap doesn't use any more panels, I'm going to use cards instead. And uh, I'm going to choose the simple one, which consists of the header and on, on the, the header and the footer the simple one and we are going to change it this one this one consists of the header uh, the body and the footer so we need the header and the footer copy this one and paste it into our html editor and now we have the a uh, card uh, with the header and the footer which uh, is is, is uh, uh, that we are going to use and it suits us for our uh, uh, registration form per project let's open it in the google browser and have a look how it looks as you can see the card from the bootstrap that was taken doesn't look Good, not good at all because we uh, didn't uh, add any CSS styling. So to do that, we have at the beginning to make a uh, link to link it with the bootstrap. As we can, said, we can do it externally or internally if we download it. But this time, I'm going just to uh, link it straight away from the internet by just copying it. So we are going to add Bootstrap CSS, as you can see here. So right below the title, Control Save. And as we can see, we have uh, made external link of uh, the Bootstrap 4.5 in our uh, page. And let's have a look now how it looks in our browser. Refresh it. And now it is the CSS styling is added as, and you can see it what actually C, uh, css does css so html is the structure of the page and the css uh, css css adds some uh, styling uh, it makes the registration form look look a little bit better so before we start we have to make some changes we have to add some width of this card and center it. So how do we do it? Everything is in the bootstrap for 4.5 just we have to know how to uh, search for it. For example this for example if we go to into the spacing and we have some properties here how to center it. Have a, let's have a there we go centering element. To center it, we use Max Auto, MX Auto, and we can set up the width. So I'm going to set up the width first. Just copy it. Go to our main card body and add some width. Just one double. Oh, nice. Okay. Go to our browser, have a look, and we uh, 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 edit the width already. Uh, next thing what we have to do is to center it. How to center it? Use MX Auto. Just copy it. Go into our uh, page editor. Paste it in our main card 
body. Have a look, control save, refresh, and now it's the render. But we need a little bit uh, to make the card a little bit more wider, wider. So we can do it by changing the pixels. We can make this one, for example, uh, 500 pixels. Control save, have a look how it looks. And uh, this is beautiful. Now we're going to take uh, change the, the color of the text, make it white, but not for now because white it won't be uh, displayed because it is white header. So we have to change the color and the text white would it will look better. We are going to change the footer and we don't need the paragraph at all. So we'll make some changes. Take away the paragraph. We don't need this one, black words. We don't need this one. We don't need this one as well. Just a simple footer. And we have to change this one. Take this one as well. And we can put here uh, copyright. by my name, Arbor Lugish. Control save it, have a look how it looks in our browser. Corporate Arbor Lugish, here removes the uh, paragraph, we don't need this anymore. And we have to put the copyright on the left and a little bit, the letter should, the fonts should be smaller. How do we do, we do it using small HTML tags? And take this one copy and put this one in the middle to uh, we didn't do this correctly into 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 the me cancel in, in between two of these uh, small tags elements. Control save. Have a look in our browser. It's smaller. It looks better. We now have to move it onto the left. How to to it, we can go to the footer, type it text right, text right, control save, have a look, it's and on to the right, it looks better now, it has some CSS tag, and now I'm going to change the color of the header and the text of the code, make it white, before that we can go to our uh, Bootstrap again, look for cards again, and we have to find how to change the colors of the header of the cards in the general. Uh, uh, here we have the colors. Uh, text and background utilities. Go And we have the colors here. So the colors of the headers, big info. I'm going to use big info, which is uh, blue a uh, light color which is h1 is i think is you can you can choose whatever color you want so we go to the header put this one big info color and we'll change into our brother the color i have a look it looks nice nicer and now we call the quote we're going to change the text you can put text Text white. Control save. Have a look in our browser. And we go into center. Text center. Text center. Have a look quickly in our browser. It's center. Now we are going to change and make it a little bit the fonts look uh, in, the, in the bigger size. Registration form into our browser, refresh the registration form, bigger fonts. We can make it using H1 elements, HTML elements, or H2 or H3. I think it's better one because H1 is too big. Put this into into between opening and closing text, H3, have a look at this, and now I have registration form, 
the footer copyright by Arbor channel Arbor Logici. And now we have to find to put the registration form. To do that, we go to our bootstrap, look for forms. And this one is email password, and we can add some more inputs by changing it. I'll show you in a minute. Copy this, copy this one is easier from here. Go into the main, into the body of the uh, step card in our browser and refresh it. We have our registration form. We don't need this one. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no we, we will keep this, no problem. Uh, we we go. I'm just going to add the name. So what? How do we do it? It's easy. Just copy paste. Uh, this, we're going to copy paste, for example, the email in this one. Copy paste it right above it, and change it. Instead of email, we can put name. Instead of uh, the mail, we can put the name, okay? Name, name here. And uh, put the name, save it. And uh, instead of type email, we have to put text. And, uh, have a look how it looks in our browser. And there we go, the name. We'll, we'll, we'll never share your email with anyone else. We don't need this one because we have the name here. We have just to remove it. Make it smaller a little bit so we can remove it. This should be name. Have a look now in our browser. Refresh it and name, email address, password, submit, copyright, arbor. Look at you. So this is a registration form using some more styling like CSS Bootstrap. 